Hey guys, it's Sarah with americantrucks.com and today we have a review and install of the Truxedo Pro X15 roll-up tonneau cover fitting your 19 and newer Chevy Silverado 1500 with the short bed. This is perfect for the Silverado owner who wants a tonneau cover that rolls out of the way completely, giving them the most room in their bed and once rolled out, gives you a nice low profile appearance. This soft roll-up tonneau cover features automatic tension control as well as a quick release locking system. This tonneau is built with aluminum rails and a durable matte black vinyl cover with a 15 degree mounting system that gives you that ultra low profile look. So one thing I want to note about this cover as with any soft cover is that it's not going to protect you from theft as well as a hard cover would. It's not going to pass the knife test. However, if you're looking for an extremely low profile cover that is still budget friendly, this is an excellent choice. So as far as price goes, this tonneau comes in at around $550, which makes it on the lower end price-wise when compared to other tonneaus. And for your money, you're getting one of the most low profile options available and the most room in your bed for hauling larger cargo. I'm giving this install a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. It features a direct bolt up install and can be done within 30 minutes. So with that said, let's jump into our install. For this install, you will need a ratchet and a half inch socket. All right, so the first step in our install is to grab the rails for our tonneau cover and lay it over top of the bed. Now there is a little lip here that should sit on top and it should sit firmly up against the bulkhead. These are side specific, so make sure you're grabbing the proper one. And then grab your clamps. Let's get these clamped on. All right, so we pulled down the rail for a second just to show you what we need to do with the shim. You can definitely still do this with the rail up there, but the shim goes in between this plastic bed cap and the bed itself. Let's go ahead and slide it up there. Try to get it up as high as you can. And then that's gonna be our clamping position. So either mark or just remember where that is. Grab your clamp, make sure you have it in the bottom notch. Go for over top of where you put your shim. Grab a half inch socket and we're gonna tighten this down. All right, so depending on where you place the clamp up here, you may or may not need a shim. There is a cutout right here in the bed where I don't believe you'll need one. So I'm gonna go for right there with the clamp. Again, if you see the rail sitting kind of wonky or not exactly flat like it should, definitely that means you need a shim. We're gonna see if this works without one. Grab a half inch socket and tighten it down. So the rearmost clamping spot is gonna be over top of this section of the bed. You do need to remove this plug in order to access it. And it's gonna use these larger clamps here. It's just gonna line up right like this over top. And then the second piece goes in the bed here. Before you do that, you will need a shim. Going in between the plastic cap and the bed. You have to separate this larger clamp, line it up with the hole, with the opening that we just made. Make sure the teeth on the clamp are fully contacting the rail. Grab your half inch socket and tighten it down. Now I can repeat that process with the driver's side. Now these rails are side specific, as I said before. This one is the one with the release lever on the end, goes on your driver's side. And again, up here, we do not need a shim. We're gonna go for an area that is more flush from the bed itself to this cap. I'm gonna repeat the same process for this back section here as well. Starting with the shim. Now you can set your cover on top of the rails. 
You wanna make sure this section here is contacting this part of the rail, like that. And there is some optional weather stripping that you can install on the bulkhead just to get a proper seal. Put the cover in place, lock it down to the rails. Repeat on the other side. With your cover locked in place, go ahead and roll it out. Now make sure the back part of the cover is sliding in these slots here. And then grab it and pull it down. Pull the cover and Velcro it down. All right, so once you've checked fitment, you can release the cover using this lever over here. You do wanna shut the bed first, and then you can close the cover up. All right, so that is gonna do it for the review and install of this tonneau cover. And remember, for all things Silverado, keep it at americantrucks.com.